week's cut. I'm back from SHOT Show. Just want to do a quick recap of the show. Um, I tried to get some some audio, uh, but the, the show floor is just so noisy and, and so many people talking and, and uh, audio just doesn't turn out very good. So unfortunately, don't have any uh, audio interview, interviews with people, but uh, I'll, I'll do a quick recap. If you're uh, watching this on YouTube, you'll I, I'll post up photos as I go along, uh, as I have them. Uh, if you're just listening to it, maybe jump over to YouTube later and, and have a look at those photos. Some some good good photos, I think. Uh, drove down, uh, met up with Eric, shared a room with Eric Oaks. Uh, make sure you check out the previous podcast I did with him. I uh, had a good conversation with him and uh, what he was bringing to the show. Uh, we ran over to, I've been going to SHOT Show now for four years. Uh, every year I, I do less and less time there. Uh, this this year I got there late Thursday, uh, so I had a little bit of time that evening. Um, and then Friday, and that was it for my SHOT Show experience this year. Um, met up with, with the Kayla Cummings. She's a, a good friend. I've known her for a long time. Uh, she's got an upcoming episode in uh, Naked and Afraid. She she had a friend uh, that I hadn't met before named Laura Zara. I had seen her uh, on Naked and Afraid as well. She's done like three of them now. A uh, really cool girl, really down to earth, uh, outdoorsy, makes her own bows. Uh, had a good time running around the show with them. Uh, all, as always, stopped by, chatted with uh, Adam Chavez. Always interesting dude, good friend. Uh, he was uh, a, getting a hold of me and has a knife from when I was just starting out. He's got a high Uinta that I made for him. Uh, fun guy. Um, after the show on Thursday, we ran over to the USN uh, get together at Strip Burger. Uh, sat down with uh, some good friends uh, Matt Diskin, John Gray, uh, Sebastian with Borka Blades. Uh, who else? Travis Wirtz. Uh, he makes the grinders and uh, getting more and more famous on on Forged and Fire. Um, Eric was with me, obviously, uh, so ha- had a good time sitting down with those guys. Um, the next day, we stopped by CRKT's booth. I had a really good chat with Ken Onion and Leong Ma, a designer uh, for CRKT, uh, designs his own knives as well. Um, Ken's got a new design out with CRKT called the Home Front, and it's it breaks down really easy. You just flip a switch and unscrew the back, and the knife comes apart, and you can clean it and then reassemble it really quickly. Uh, played with that for a little bit, and a really neat design. Ken's one of the nicest guys in the industry. Uh, he'll sit and talk to you if you need to talk to him, or uh, I think Eric and I are going to try to get out to his shop in Hawaii. Um, CRKT also has a program that was interesting to me called Forged by War. It takes veterans that have returned and started making knives. Um, they take a look at their work, and if they like where they're going and it's an original design, they'll they'll uh, pick it up, run with it. Uh, they donate a bunch of money to the uh, charity of the uh, veterans' choice, and I believe they uh, obviously give the veterans some money. Uh, from the the sales of that design, I think I I saw three designs there. There may be a few more. I think Ryan Johnson of RMJ uh, is is heading that up. Um, so uh, I found that really interesting. Also ran into Steve Garson. Uh, Steve and I have started out on shaky ground, as a lot of Steve's friends and and people he knows starts out. <laughs> Steve just speaks his mind, and when I was on Blade Forms a lot. Uh, he would always come down on my designs and my work, but uh, become a much better maker because of Stephen, and we're very close now. Uh, always love seeing Stephen. Um, uh, met his wife uh, this trip, beautiful lady, which is shocking to me. <laughs> but anyway, Stephen's a killer guy. Um, we were lucky to, I had stopped by Vegas Forge on the way into town and, and bought a bar of uh, stainless steel typhoon uh, for a, a custom order I've got coming up. Um, 
Jesse and Jeff and and the crew there at Vegas Forge took over Rob Thomas's uh, shop and and uh, doing a great job with it, uh, pulling a lot of his patterns out and and doing some great work. They offered us to come over last year and before the USN show and do some forging. So I, I for, forged my own Typhoon uh, out of high carbon with them. Uh, had a blast doing it. Um, so anyway, they invited us out to dinner. Uh, we went to Gangnam Asian Barbecue. And man, I've never had so much meat in my life. Uh, we over-ordered and I, I ate more food than, than I have sitting down in one sitting than probably ever in my life. But uh, Jesse and Jeff, great guys. Um, so if you if you want to buy some Damascus, uh, check them out. Vegas Forge. Um, really top-notch work. You won't have any voids. You won't have any issues with the steel. Um, check them out. Uh, we, Saturday morning, ran over to the Antique Arms Show over at Westgate uh, Hotel and Casino. Microtech had a booth there. Uh, Jason McCoy was manning the booth. The McCoy family, if you don't know the McCoys, uh, amazing, amazing people. Just these monstrous, you know, Jason is just this monster of a man. I'm taller than him. Uh, I probably weigh close to what he does just because I'm taller and fatter. Uh, but he's got, you know, huge guns. Look like a really scary guy, but soft-spoken, super sweet. Entire family is. So I always enjoy uh, talking with him. And um, Met up with Doug Ritter with Knife Rights. That's where I had my interview on the the podcast previous to this one so check that one out they do great work for for uh, knife rights the nra knife that they donate uh to knife rights was there um beautiful beautiful knife um who else chad Nell was there he's a utah boy down in southern utah making some amazing folders i hope to have him on the podcast down the road he's got a son that's a you know a red bull mountain biker that's doing all the flips and and uh, all that crazy stuff. So one of the highlights of of these trips is I get invited uh, by Anthony and Susan Marfione to their lunch at the uh, Palms there in Caesar's Palace uh, before the TKI show. Um, amazing family. Always great hanging out with them. Uh, the uh, Monroes are there as well. Um, I didn't know the the Monroes, Derek Monroe and. And his family very well, but the more I get to know him, the the more amazing I find they are as well. Uh, Tony tends to surround himself by amazing people, uh, very helpful in the knife world. Uh, for some reason, he's he's taken a liking to my stuff. And uh, Sebastian uh, with Borka Blades and Hank Greenberg were also there. Um, so always a great time. I was I brought a knife. Uh, Tony had been shown some interest in one of my uh, big Bowie designs and so uh, uh made one of those for him and then he gave me a custom interceptor fixed blade kind of the, the rambo style knife that he makes um dream blade i couldn't be more pleased uh, another thing that happened during shot show not to jump back but um swing swung by the spider co booth uh met up with aj um aj I was giving out free hugs. Great guy. Um, he kind of pushed me in through the through the Spider Co door and had a good chat with Sal um, of Spider Co about maybe submitting my saddleback design. Uh, I'm authorized to use their uh, Spidey hole on that design, and um, so I'm I'm going to go ahead and do that. Hopefully, uh, that has some promise down the road. Uh, headed over to. Uh, the Tactical Knives Invitational. Uh, for those of you that don't know, it's it's an exclusive knife show. There's 32 to 34 makers, high-end makers, very exclusive and kind of intimate setting. You're just in a, a, a medium-sized room uh, there at Caesar's Palace. Um, always stellar work, top-notch work. It's the best work the, the makers do. Uh, the names of the makers that are are invited to that are, are you know, 
some of the ones you're all familiar with. Uh, Marfione and Sebastian, or Tony and ba Sebastian, uh, did a collaboration of the SBK Assassin. I was honored to do the heat treat on those. They they polished out the Hamones, and, and those turned out great and was, was really popular. Um, Edison Barajas of Shark Knife Co., uh, I met him last year at the Vegas Forge when we were forging out our Damascus. Super neat guy. O only been doing this for a couple of years, but just shooting up. Um, he was a guest uh, maker at the show. Um, sold really well. Super nice guy. Super neat knives. Uh, he's going to go far. Um, what else? That, that's about it. Um, I could go on forever about Tactical Knives Invitational. It's just something you have to experience. Um, really patient, appreciate you guys listening. Um, not sure what we got going on for the next show. I will update you when I find out. Um, thanks a lot.